right, we're heading to Utah. Uh, right now, I'm on my way out to Utah. Uh, my brother was taking a trip out there, so he asked me if I wanted to go, and obviously I can't say no to a cool adventure, so. Uh, we're heading out right now. I'm in front, he's behind me in his, uh, in his Jeep and his uh, trailer. I'll show you more of that later. But uh, today, we're gonna head up to Lake Powell, so. If you guys are, if you guys know anything about that, but Lake Powell is pretty cool. It's a really nice lake. So we're gonna head there today, and uh, pretty much we have a four-hour drive ahead of us. So yeah, not gonna be too interesting. Pretty much highways. And uh, I'll see you guys when we get there. Maybe we do something cool later. Uh, yeah, me and Brody here in the Jeep, all packed up, ready to go. So I'll see you guys a little bit later if anything cool happens on the way. If not, I'll see you guys there when we're, when we're setting up. All right, so we made it to uh, Utah here, and uh, the spot we were gonna stay at is closed because of uh, the coronavirus, I guess. But anyways, we're here at this other spot that we quick looked up, and uh, we got here, it was raining, so we just kind of pulled off real quick, and uh, I threw up the awning so we can stand under. Now it's sunny, so figure that one out. We're gonna quick set up. So in the middle of uh, sitting up, I went to go open up the back of my Jeep and somehow the window got caught on something. I don't know what, but my back window broke and uh, there's just glass everywhere. So I have no more back window now. I did manage to save my stickers. Probably the most important part. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I have no more back window. So we're gonna have to have no more window in the back anymore. Apparently. At least the rain stopped. All right, so welcome to Utah, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm here alone now because my brother, he went out to, uh, try to find an auto parts store or somewhere he can find that, uh, attachment so he can actually roll up his, uh, pop-up trailer. See, uh, yeah, we were not prepared for Utah, apparently. <laughs> uh, so let's go over what happened so far today. The campsite was closed that we were going to stay at. I broke my window. We don't have the attachment to actually pop up the trailer. We had to use some pliers to pop it up. And uh, it was raining, it was windy. Now it's hot and sunny. So, what a day. And yeah, tomorrow we actually have a actual campsite we're gonna stay at, uh, a little bit more north, like towards Moab, I think. But yeah, that's going to be the plan. So today, we're just going to kind of relax. I'm going to pop up the, t the tent and uh, probably relax all night. I'm pretty tired already. It's been a day, man. It's the start of day two. Uh, I just got all my stuff packed up and whatnot. Here's what the Jeep looks like without the back window and uh, all closed up and everything. So hopefully Brody doesn't get any ideas and try to jump out, huh Brody? Yeah, you better not. Uh, they're just packing up their stuff and then we're gonna head down the road that way because we heard that there's supposed to be a way down this way to get down to the, the actual lake that we were gonna camp at in the first place. So we're gonna check that out. And uh, if that leads anywhere, we might actually stay there and uh, swim for a while. But we do have reservations about two and a half hours north. So we're gonna go there today. But just a quick little pit stop while we're here. And maybe on the way back, we'll stop here also. So yeah, let's go on the road. And too bad we didn't know about this spot sooner. 
and I'm glad those guys did come by and actually talk to us about it. But uh, look at this, right by the water down here and where the Jeep's parked out up there to those fire rings. So you can definitely have fires in camp here. So maybe on the way out of, out of here back to Arizona, we might stay here. But for now, we're gonna hang out here for a little while. We do still have reservations at the other place. So later on today, some point, we're gonna have to make it back up there. For now, we're gonna hang out by the water down here for a little while and uh, have some fun. And I'll show you guys a little bit of the uh, drive out of here. So it was super cool to get down here too. super fun and uh, now we're leaving this spot and we're gonna head over to the campground that we have reserved so I'll see you guys there we're probably gonna get something to eat on the way over so I'm pretty hungry uh, yeah so I'll see you guys when we get there we're here at the campground and uh, we just pulled in got all set up and now we're relaxing um, yeah what a weird day this morning we we're uh, packing up our stuff Went to go find a cool spot right by the water. Now we're here. We're on the way here. We stopped at this one burger place. It was pretty good. That's a good thing. But yeah, we got this spot for two nights. So we'll see what there is to do around here. All right, it's a uh, day something, and uh, we're making our way back now. We finished camping at that one campground. It was nice, but it was real quiet and uh, peaceful. But there really wasn't much to do. So uh, we're heading back to that around the same area where we stayed at the first night and I'm on this dirt road that looked a lot shorter than going back around which was like three hours for me I drive so slow in the Jeep this was only like I think 40 miles and around the whole way was like 160 so this is a lot shorter and uh, I can see the road right there where we gotta head down so let's make it a fun one let's find some cool stuff along the way so far the, ro the road's been really good and maintained so let's hopefully it stays up like that but I don't mind a little challenge either way. Let's get going. We just got here again and uh, Brody's over there running around in the water while I'm setting up here But uh, I got here a lot quicker because I took a shortcut as I told you guys earlier and it turned out to pay off really good I got here about an hour or two hours maybe even before they can so I'm just kind of gonna set up right here. I don't have signal. So hopefully they can find me um, And make sure I can get to a spot they can get to with the trailer. So hopefully they can get down here also but uh, I don't have signal, so maybe I'll walk around and try to call in a little while, see where they're at. But uh, in the meantime, we're just gonna set up and uh, hang out until they get here. All right, 
So we did. They didn't uh, actually make it out here, but they didn't bring the trailer down to this spot where I'm at. The the sand's so soft here. I don't think they can get the trailer down here without getting stuck. So me, we're just hanging out right now. Pudge is down here. Brody's here also. And uh, it's so it's windy today. Real windy. So we haven't done much swimming. But uh, I think we're pretty much just gonna hang out down here tonight. Maybe have a fire later. And then um, start heading back to Arizona tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna end it here today. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the morning. This was a super fun trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, yeah, this was super fun. A lot of really amazing things to see. And uh, this is only a small portion of Utah. I'm ready to get out here and check out the whole state. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna end this one here today, guys. So thanks for watching these videos. If you guys liked them, give me a big thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more, uh, make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.